Hey, in this video, I wanted to give you an actual real live example of going through the process to create an irresistible offer from Alex Hormozzi's book, $100 Million Offer. So what I'm gonna show you here is how I created my actual offer. Now, this video might be a bit long, but it's gonna show you in specific detail exactly how to go through this and give you a specific example that you can follow for your own business. So if you have a super short attention span, you can click off of this and go back to your cat videos, but if you're really serious about creating an irresistible offer that makes you rich, then this is gonna be really helpful for you. So, step one is to find a great market. Um, so in my case, Looking at a great market, what I determined, but based on all of these uh, criteria, is that me five years ago was a great market. Because me five years ago, I was working for a corporate job, I was making a pretty decent salary, but I was very unfulfilled. I felt like I was working for a company that, um, that wasn't doing anything good in the world. I didn't feel like I was doing anything useful with my life. My salary was good, but it was capped, and I didn't really have any freedom over my life, right? I had this company that was controlling where I had to be and when I had to be there, um, and so it really felt empty, and I wanted something better. Like, I wanted a feeling of significance that I was doing something worthwhile um, and that I wasn't just wasting away my life working for some company that was meaningless, right? So uh, basically the massive pain was there, right? The massive pain was that I feel like I'm wasting my life. Uh, and there's a lot of people that are working corporate jobs that feel exactly the same way. Purchasing power was there, right? I was making eighty-five, ninety thousand dollars $90,000 a year. I had money to spend. Um, you know, I wasn't rich, but I, was, I, I had money that I could pay for a, a course or a coaching program. Um, easy to target. Yes, people in this situation are fairly easy to target because there's a lot of people in this situation and I, I kind of know what kind of influencers they're into. I know what they're watching and what they're reading because I was there myself. And so yeah, I could definitely target them on with something like YouTube ads. And then uh, growing. I think that yes, this segment of the population is growing because still most people are stuck in corporate jobs, but the level of consciousness in general among the population is rising and the amount of pain, right? Because I mean, more and more companies are shoving this woke agenda down people's throats and people really, really don't like it. Most people I'm convinced are not happy with this woke agenda being shoved down their throats and the people that are working for these companies that are doing this stuff are not happy with it, right? They wanna get out, they wanna be free. They don't have to depend on a company that hates them. And people are recognizing that more and more. So yes, the uh, the market is growing. So I think that I found a great market here. So what do I do with that market? Well, um, I find their dream outcome, right? And this value equation is um, is kind of the, the basis of this, but I'm gonna go through the core process here. So start with this, identify the dream outcome. Well, my dream outcome at that point in my life was to make more money, right? So if I could make $200,000 a year, I'd be pretty happy. If I could have my freedom back, right? Not be working for some other company. If I could have my time freedom, I could set my own schedule. If I could have location freedom where I could travel when and where I wanted to. And if I wasn't forced to work uh, many hours a week. So if I could just work five hours a week, let's say, and, and make that kind of income, that would be the dream. That would be perfect for me. And it turns out that I have managed to do that. I have created that for myself. And so I can create that for other people. Oh, and of course, to add on top of this, making people's lives better. So I feel like I'm actually making a useful impact. I'm contributing to the world rather than working for some faceless billion dollar corporation that screws people. So awesome, I've got my dream outcome. Now let's go through each of these steps in order. So I'm gonna create a new document over here actually real quick to uh, just to, to isolate these parts. Okay, so I've got this document here. Uh, the first part is to list problems. First step is list problems that people will have in getting to their dream outcome at every step. And again, the dream outcome, I'll go ahead and write that out here. The dream outcome is 200K a year, freedom, um, minimal work time, and positive impact on the world. 
Okay, so once I've got my dream outcome here, uh, then my first thing, my first task is to list the problems. And, and really you wanna come up with as many problems as you can, right? And for every step in your process as well. So like I've got, I've got a lot of problems here. Um, so how to find a course or coaching topic that people will be happy to pay to learn, right? These are the problems that people will go through, um, it will run into in my process towards getting this dream outcome of the 200K plus a year freedom, minimal work time, et cetera, uh, by creating a course or coaching program. So right, like how to figure out um, the topic, how to figure out what you already know that people would pay to learn, how to get people to buy from you even if you don't have any client success stories yet, right, because you're not going to at the beginning, how to build a compelling story for yourself that builds your credibility in the topic that you're teaching, how to make people see you as the trusted expert regardless of your age, how to learn a profitable skill quickly that you can teach others. How to coach others if you're shy, which is a problem for me in the past and I was able to get over it. So that's, I'm looking for all of the problems that some people might have. How to run a coaching program or coaching business using technology it's so easy a child could do it. How to create a coaching business that you can run in five hours a week. How to find a unique angle for a crowded topic. How to carve a space for yourself when it seems like everything has been done. Again, like these are possible objections people would have or problems that they're gonna have along the way. How to create a step-by-step -step roadmap that gets clients results every time. How to get a professional looking design done for $20 or less if they need a logo or something designed. How to map out your entire course or coaching program in under an hour. How to set up an automated marketing funnel all by yourself with a super simple drag and drop editor. How to set up a funnel that gets sales in any niche. How to get the perfect messaging for your funnel without having to do fancy copywriting or hire an expensive copywriter. How to figure out exactly what people want so you can sell it to them in your own in their own words. It, notice, by the way, that like these these things are, are pretty good copy too. So not only are you creating your offer, but if you look at these, like these are really good things that you can put in your top your copy. So somebody that's interested in selling courses sees this, like how to figure out exactly what people want so you can sell to them in their own words, that's pretty intriguing, right? So so might be worth holding on to this, um, not only for the offer, but just for the copywriting. How to create a webinar that gets sales every time. How to do live presentation if you're shy and nervous about being on camera. A lot of people have that issue, right? So it helps if I help them over that problem. How to make sure you don't forget anything while you're presenting. How to run a successful webinar in a niche that's saturated with webinars. How to figure out the perfect topics to teach in your webinar that builds your credibility and makes people want to buy from you. How to create a webinar using a simple formula that takes all the guesswork out of it. How to deliver your webinar for maximum engagement. How to test your ads to make sure that they work before spending a bunch of money on them. How to get around ad restrictions and difficult niches. How to write winning ads without any fancy copywriting tricks. How to make sure your ads get shown to your ideal customers. And again, I told you this is a long list because you want to come up with absolutely everything that you can think of. This is like a full thorough brain dump. Keep going until you can't think of anything else. Uh, how to create ads that get the interest of skeptical audiences who are sick of ads. How to write winning ads in minutes. How to pitch your offer in a way that creates a rush of buyers. How to pitch your offer in a way that's easy, natural, and doesn't feel like asking for money. How to pitch a one to $2,000 offer so your audience will find a way to afford it. How to frame your offer so that even a premium price seems like a bargain. How to pitch your offer in a way that's easy and comfortable for people who don't like selling. Again, this is like, oh, I'm a person who doesn't like selling, so this won't work for me, so I'm, I'm overcoming that possible objection. How to get uh, set up to accept payments that can go to your bank account easily and painlessly. How to set up your coaching so the clients get maximum result. And notice I'm kind of going through the process here. So like it's towards the end of the process. Okay, you've got the sale. How do you set it up so that you can take payments? Um, and then once you got you have clients, then how do you set up your coaching so your clients get maximum results? How to create a highly successful coaching program even if you've never done it before. How to have the confidence and speak with authority to help real people change their lives. How to read your metrics and optimize your marketing so that your business is always profitable. How to understand your metrics the simple way without doing math. So a lot of people are afraid of math, so that helps. How to set up tracking in minutes. How to get around iOS tracking limitations because the Apple system has made it more difficult to track people from your ads, like to track if people are buying from your ads or opting in or whatever. How to get insights from your data uh, days after you start running ads. 
how to see your business performance at a glance. And so, yeah, this whole list, like these are all of the problems. And so now that I've got all of my problems, and obviously I wrote those out earlier, um, but after I have all the problems, then I wanna create solutions for each of the problems. So I wanna list what are the possible solutions for every problem that I have listed here. So for this one, I could have a, like a worksheet with a list of questions, right? Which I actually already had before I did this process, like a list of questions of what am I good at? What have I, what have I been through in the, in the past? And like, have I had a job skill that's been useful to me? Have I had a good relationship? Is there something that I figured out about fitness? Is there a health problem I've gotten over? Like all of these different things to help them figure that out. So I could just give them that list of questions. Uh, I could do done with you coaching, right? Like I could actually talk to them and help them through it, help them elicit what, what questions make sense, etc. cetera. Um, for this one, how to figure out what you already know that people would pay to learn. So like my list of questions again, and I can, you know, I can do the same thing multiple times. So how to get people to buy from you if you don't have any client success stories yet. So uh, I have a framework for that, right? So I'll just give them the framework. And so I'll go ahead and fill in the rest of these so you don't have to sit and watch me type for 20 minutes. Okay, so start with uh, where we left off. How to build a compelling story for yourself that builds your credibility in the topic you're teaching. So I could do a framework for that. I could do done with you coaching. Uh, how to make people see you as the trusted expert regardless of your age. F have a framework for that. Do, do done with you coaching. By the way, when I say framework, I mean like a set of steps or kind of a process for how to do each of these parts. Um, how to learn a profitable skill quickly that you can teach others. Yeah, I got a framework for that. How to coach others if you're shy. Got a framework for that. How to run a coaching business using technology that's so easy that a child could do it, right? So I could have follow along videos where I'm like, that you click on this and you drag it to here and like show exactly everything that you do. Um, done with you coaching is helpful for that. I could also have like funnel webinar and ad templates, right? So I could, instead of making you build it from scratch, I could actually give you the one that I already have that's already working, it's already proven and let you just edit it for your business. Um, I could show you or how to create a coaching business you can run in five hours a week. Uh, I could give you a schedule, like show you where everything is, like what time to do everything uh, so that you can fit it into five hours a week. How to find a unique angle for a crowded topic. I can give you a framework for that. I can do done with you coaching. How to carve a space for yourself when it seems like everything has been done. I could do a framework. I could do done with you coaching. Uh, how to create a step-by-step -step roadmap that gets clients results every time. I could give you a framework. I could give you a template. I could do done with you coaching. And notice, by the way, that a lot of this stuff is just repeated, right? Like um, how to how to find a unique angle for a crowded topic, how to carve a space for yourself when it seems like everything has been done. And I have the same thing for both, right? Because I can create the same framework and the same coaching to cover both of those things. Um, okay, where was I? So how to get a professional looking design done for $20 or less. I can just give you a step-by-step -step tutorial for that. How to map out your entire course. So I got a framework. Um, set up an automated marketing funnel. I can actually, again, like I say, I can give you my funnel or I can give you my web pages. That's what I mean by a share funnel. Uh, I could create videos showing you how to fill in the share funnel. I could do done with you coaching to actually like work with you to do it. How to set up a funnel and get sales in any niche. Again, the share funnel framework, course videos, done with you coaching. Um, how to get perfect messaging for your funnel uh, so here is survey questions, right? So I'm big on market research rather than just assuming you know what you think or uh, rather than just assuming that you know what people are thinking and what people desire, you actually ask them. So I can give you exactly what questions to ask and how to and show you how to set up a survey and I can give you a framework for analysis. So once you get your survey results back, how to interpret those results and how to um, use them for your messaging for how to find exactly what people want. Um, again, survey questions, framework for analysis, same thing. How to create a webinar that gets sales every time. So I can just give you my PowerPoint, like I can give you the slides from a highly successful webinar that you can fill in for yourself, that you can work from. I can give you the framework, I can make a video lesson, I could do the done with you coaching. And by the way, notice that I'm not promising that I'm gonna deliver all of these in my program. These are just the, the kind of options that I've come up with that would help the person get over this problem. 
So how to do a live presentation if you're shy and nervous on camera. I can give, uh, again, the PowerPoint template. So the person is shy, they can just read off the PowerPoint. It makes it a lot easier. And I can give them a framework for how I deal with that. How to make sure you don't forget anything while you're presenting. Again, PowerPoint template, video lesson about how to go through it. How to run a successful webinar in a niche that's saturated. Uh, framework, the PowerPoint template, survey questions, framework for analysis. Uh, how to figure out perfect topic, survey questions, framework for analysis. Again, we're getting back to our how to get our messaging. Um, and you notice there's a lot of, like I put that survey questions, I put that like four times, right? I only need to include it once in the program, but it solves four different problems or four different questions. How to create a webinar using a simple formula it takes all the guesswork out of it, right? PowerPoint, framework, video lesson. How to deliver your webinar, PowerPoint, framework, uh, successful webinar recording, right? So if I give you the actual recording of a successful webinar that I've done in the past, that might be helpful for you. How to test your ads to make sure they work before spending a bunch of money on them. I'll give you framework, video lesson, I can coach you on it. How to get around ad respect restrictions and difficult niches. So this is things like health, where it's hard to make health claims or cryptocurrency or make money online, that kind of thing. Uh, a lot of times the ad platforms have rules and they make it difficult for you to run your ads. So I can give you a checklist of what to look for. I can give you a video lesson. I can coach you. How to write winning ads without any fancy copywriting tricks. Framework, ad templates, ad examples. So I can actually give you examples of ads that I've run that have been highly successful for you to model off of. I can give you the templates at the same time that's kind of um, <clears throat> how to structure the ads, right? Uh, how to make sure your ads get shown to your ideal customers. I can give you framework, checklist, video lesson, coaching. How to create ads that are of interest. Framework, video lesson, ad template, ad examples. Again, we're, we're going back to something we've already done before. How to write winning ads in minutes. Same thing again. Uh, how to pitch your offer in a way that creates a rush of buyers. So PowerPoint, template, video lesson, framework, done with your coaching and a, a recording of a webinar that I've done successfully in the past. How to pitch your offer in a way that's easy, natural, doesn't feel like out asking for money. PowerPoint, video lesson, framework, done with your coaching, um, a successful webinar recording again. How to pitch a $1,000 to $2,000 offer so your audience will find a way to afford it. Again, same thing as last one. How to frame your art, your offer so that even a premium price seems like a bargain. Same thing. How to pitch your offer in a way that's easy and comfortable for people who don't like selling. Same thing, right? All of these things will address all of those concerns. Will will help the prospect over all of those problems. How to set up or how to get set up to accept payments that go to your bank account easily and painlessly. So follow along video like how to set up your account step by step so you don't miss anything, and then I can coach you. Uh, how to set up your coaching so your clients get maximum results, right? I can, there's a framework, video lesson, I can do coaching. I can also give a membership site example, and that membership site example might be the membership site where I'm delivering this course, right? So they can just kind of copy the format that I've used to, to deliver this course. How to create a highly successful pro coaching program, uh, framework, done with you, membership site example, same thing. How to have confidence, video lesson, uh, coaching. How to read your metrics. So I can do video lesson, I can do a framework. I can also include an Excel template, right? Like I'll give you a template that, that shows you how to, that you can just plug in the numbers and it'll show you how to track your business performance. And done with you coaching. How to understand your metrics the simple way without doing math. Um, again, the Excel template, the video lesson. I can also include a benchmark sheet. So like what is a good opt-in rate? What's a good cost per lead? Uh, what's a good close rate, etc. Right? If you have those benchmarks, then it's easy to tell what you know what's going well in your business and what might need some improvement. How to set up tracking in, in minutes? I can give you step-by-step -step video. How to get around iOS tracking limitations? Uh, I can do a video lesson about that. How to get insights from your data days after you starting so you start running ads? Um, again, the Excel template. I can do a video lesson. I can do the benchmark sheet. How to see your business performance at a glance? Excel template, video lesson, and benchmark sheet. So that's the whole thing. I know that was a mouthful, but notice that the same things are repeated a lot of times. And now the next part is to create solution delivery vehicles. So what, what exactly am I potentially going to include in this offer? And so it's gonna be like all of this stuff. Um, and so I'm gonna go ahead and write it out here. Okay, so I've narrowed it down to all of my solution delivery vehicles from up here. So I have my course videos, my done with you coaching, 
Obviously, that's going to be the bulk of the program. A list of questions to find a topic. Framework for how to sell when you have no success stories. Framework for creating your origin story. Framework for being seen as a trusted expert. Framework for learning new skills to teach. And by the way, these frameworks are going to be the basis of the course videos and they're going to be the basis of the coaching, right? I'm going to coach and I'm going to create videos on the frameworks mostly. Uh, the share funnel, right? So you can just copy and paste my funnel into your business. The webinar slide deck, so you can just use my slide deck that's already working. The ad templates, six examples of successful ads I've done. Uh, the work schedule for like when you have to do stuff. Framework for finding unique angle. Framework for client success roadmap. Template for client success roadmap. Step-by-step -step video for getting graphics created on Fiverr. Funnel framework. Uh, survey questions. Framework for analyzing survey data. Webinar framework. Ad testing scaling framework. Ad restrictions checklist. Ad writing framework. Targeting worksheet. Coaching delivery framework. Coaching program components checklist. Reading metrics framework, Excel tracking template, benchmark sheet, telegram group, uh, pro productivity hacks training, mindset hacks training, Voxer support. And by the way, towards this po point, I'm, I'm adding extra things that I use the questions like, oh, if I had, if I charged 10 times as much, what could I afford to uh, include? And, or if I charged a 10th of the price, what would I, um, what could I put, include that would meet those things easier? And so Voxer support is like one-on-one -on -one support. Um, In-person day at my house. So we spend a day at my house and work together. Uh, or I fly to their house or we book an Airbnb together and spend the day to work together. Uh, I have a nice dinner with all my students. I have a live workshop with students in person. I could do interviews with successful people. I could provide free eBooks like Think and Grow Rich. Uh, I could create a list of helpful apps, uh, give productivity enhancing music, productivity enhancing diet and exercise plan, daily meditation track, and voice training exercises. So those are all of the ideas that I came up with for solution delivery vehicles. And then finally, the last step is trim and stack. So I'm going to figure out, I'm going to analyze each one of these and see if it is worth including in my final offer or not. And so the way that I'm going to analyze these is based on uh, two things. The first thing is is cost. Like, how much of a cost is it going to be to me um, after I've already created it, right? Or, or so, how much cost rather is it going to be per person who gets it? So, for example, course videos. I mean, it's going to take me a, a lot of cost in terms of time to create my course videos. But once I've created it, for each additional person, it costs me nothing. So I'm going to put a low cost uh, LC for low cost. The done with you coaching. Um, uh, if I do a group coaching program, then it's it's fairly low cost, right? The I mean the first one is high cost because I have to take that time out of my schedule every week. But every additional one, if they're all on the same call, then it's low cost, right? A list of questions is uh, low cost, right? Whereas like if I go down to the, to the bottom where uh, fly to somebody's house, obviously that's going to be very high cost. Book an Airbnb with somebody, that's going to be a high cost. Have somebody come over to my house, that's going to be a full day of my time, that's high cost. But we'll go through these one by one. So a uh, framework for how to sell, that's low cost. Framework for creating your origin, any kind of frameworks. So all the frameworks are low cost, right? Uh, share funnel, that's low cost. Webinar slide deck, right? That's already done. That's that's low cost. Ad templates, that's low cost. Uh, successful ad examples, again, already done. That's a low cost. Work schedule, that's low cost. Uh, framework, all the frameworks, low cost. Framework, low cost. Template, low cost. Most of these things are low cost here, which um, is a benefit of this particular type of business, right? If I was providing like baking cakes for people or something, then that would be all higher cost because I have to pay for ingredients and stuff. But coaching in general is a low cost business, which is why it's such a great business. Low cost, low cost, low cost, add restrictions, low cost, framework, low cost, any kind of framework, any kind of worksheet, um, any kind of checklist, they're all low cost. Template, any kind of template is low cost. Uh, Excel sheet, uh, Telegram group, right? That's low cost. Productivity hacks, any kind of training 
is low cost. Voxer support, now that would be me doing one-on-one, -on -one, so I'm gonna put that as high cost because it takes a lot of my time. Um, In-person day at my house, obviously these are high cost. Uh, dinner with students, that would be high cost. Live workshop in person, high cost. Interviews, uh, low cost. Free ebooks would be low cost. List of apps, low cost. Music, low cost. Uh, productivity enhancing diet and exercise plan. Assume this is not customized, that this is just one size fits all, that would be low cost. Meditation track would be low cost. Voice training exercises, low cost. Okay, so I got all of these for cost. Now I wanna go through and, and um, determine what is their value, like how valuable are they going to be to the final customer. And so I'm gonna classify those by either low value or high value. So course video is obviously high value. Coaching, high value. Questions to find a topic, I think that's high value. Uh, how to sell when you have no success stories, definitely high value, right? And this is value to the customer, right? Because if the customer has no success stories and they want to make money, then like they need this. It's very necessary and so it's very high value. Uh, origin story, very high value. The story is what sells on the webinar more than anything else. Framework for being a trusted expert, high value. Uh, high value. Share funnel, super high value, right? Webinar slide deck, high value. Ad templates, high value. Successful ad examples, high value. And most of these are high value, but not all of them. Work schedule, actually, I'm going to put that as low value. Like, you can figure that out pretty easily. You don't really need me to give you the exact schedule. Um, so, uh, framework for a unique angle, definitely high value. Client success, high value. Template, uh, high value. Step by step for getting graphics created on Fiverr. Like, that's pretty easy to figure out on your own. I'd say that's a low value. Uh, Funnel framework, that's high value. Survey questions, definitely high value. Framework for analyzing survey data, that's high value. Webinar framework, high value. Ads testing and scaling, ad restrictions. Um, ad writing framework, yeah, this is definitely important. This is all high value stuff. Coaching delivery, high value. Uh, coaching po components, high value. Reading metrics, definitely high value. Excel sheet, high value. Benchmark, high value. Telegram group, high value, right? That's where you get support. Uh, productivity hacks, yeah. Um, yeah, I think that would be high value. Mindset hacks would be high value, even if people don't realize it, like mindset is 90% of it. Uh, Voxer support, definitely high value. In-person day at my house, for sure high value. Fly to their house, even higher value. Uh, Airbnb, high value. Nice dinner with students, high value. Live workshop, that would definitely be high value. Interviews with successful people, I think that would be valuable. Free ebooks, um, yeah, I guess high value. List of helpful apps, uh, yeah, I'm not so crazy about that. I'll give that a low value. Music, uh, I'm gonna give that a low value too. People probably mostly know what music works for them. Uh, diet and exercise plan. Maybe, yeah, I'll put high value on that. Meditation track, definitely high value, right? Like I said, it's 90% of, of being successful in business, just doing battle with your own mind. And, and meditating daily is invaluable. It will absolutely help you with that. If you're not doing that, then you should. Voice, voice training exercises, um, I'm not so big on that. I don't think what your voice sounds like matters that much. So I'm gonna put low value. Okay, so I have, at this point, I have um, all of my my costs and my values mapped out here. And so now what I want to do essentially is is come up with the ones that are the most useful, right? Come up with the ones that I, I want to include in the final product here. Uh, and so I'm just going to, the easiest thing I can do here is go through and get rid of anything that's low value, right? Because if it's low value, it's just not the worth the time. So anything LV, I'm just going to delete it. And there's a low value. Uh, what else? There's not a whole lot in here. That's a low value. That's a low value. And that's a low value. Okay. So now everything that I've got is high value. I trimmed out all the low value stuff because even if it's low cost, it still just serves to kind of confuse and overwhelm the person. It's not really worth including. So um, next part is I want to look at the things, like if it's low cost and high value, I should probably include it, right? Because I just, it, it just makes sense. But there are certain things that are high cost and high value. And those are the things that I want to figure out, like, 
is it is it worth it? Um, and for like the price point that I have in mind, is it worth it to include these things? So um, let me see. Let me go through anything that has an HC beside it. I think most of them are all congregated at the bottom here. Okay, so Voxer support. Um, yeah, I think I do want to include that. I think that would be would be really helpful. And it's not that high cost, it's not super high cost. Like an in-person day at my house, that's really a high cost. I might offer that as like a super premium bonus that you have to pay extra for, but I'm not gonna include that in my main offer. Uh, fly to their house, yeah, definitely not. Um, book an Airbnb together. Again, I could do this one as a um, is, is an upsell, but not in the main offer. Same thing with a dinner. Um, in fact, I, I don't even think for the cost, like the value is not really that high uh, because a dinner, I mean, it's only a, a couple hours talking to each other and half that time you're eating anyway. So like, I don't think it's really that high value. You can have dinner on your own. Live workshop, um, I like it, but I think I would do it as, as something separate. Maybe I would include it. Uh, but yeah, I think I'll, I'll do that one as something separate. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna nix that one. Um, so, okay, so here is everything that I've got left. And so this is going to be my final offer. And so now the, the next thing is to figure out, okay, of these things, which do I want to be part of my main program offering and which do I want to separate out as bonuses, right? And so for bonuses, um, basically you want to find the things that either project the most value, like that show the most value or that, that get over specific, uh, specific objections that people have and reasons that people have in their head why they might not be successful. So if I go through this, um, I'm gonna put just like a couple of stars next to each one that I think would be good for a bonus. So framework for how to sell when you have no success story. So that's great for an objection. So I'm gonna call that one a bonus. Um, what else? Uh, the share funnel, like this is super valuable, right? Because if you have somebody build you a funnel, like somebody that actually has a track record of success to build you a funnel, they're gonna charge you like five, ten thousand dollars at least. So this, to separate that out and call that a bonus, that's super valuable. Um, same thing with the webinar slide deck, right? Like a proven webinar slide deck, that's super valuable. Um, like ad templates uh, and examples. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put those as, uh, actually, I'm gonna put that as one thing. I'm, I'm gonna put that as one thing um, and make that one a bonus. And then framework for finding a unique angle, that's big. Like that's, that's what holds a lot of people back. I'm gonna make that one a bonus. The survey questions, I'll make that a bonus because this is something that's super valuable and it sets me apart because hardly anybody is doing this, right? There's a lot of people teaching how to create online courses and how to sell online courses, but very few of them have a systematic w way of actually studying your market, surveying them, surveying them and figuring out exactly what they want. So I'm gonna highlight that. Okay, what else? The uh, Excel, sh the Excel tracking template, like that's a big value add. I'll I'll bring that one out. Uh, the Telegram group, I'll I'll make that one a bonus. Uh, and the Voxer support, right? The one-on-one -on -one support, that's a big deal. So I'm going to call that one a bonus. So okay, so I have all of my bonuses uh, filtered out here. So now I have my full offer here in terms of what's, uh, what's included and what's gonna be like included in the base package versus what's included separated out as bonuses. And then the, the last thing that I wanna do is offer guarantee. And so um, you can offer more than one guarantees. And so what I've decided to do was is uh, a few, three guarantees actually. One is an implied guarantee. So uh, w the way this works is you pay some money down, pay the rest when you make your first 100K. And so I don't wanna tell you what my price is exactly because it's probably gonna change, but it is several thousand dollars, right? This is a high ticket program. So I'm gonna say you pay um, a, a percentage of the money now, and then you pay the rest of it once you've made your first $100,000 in revenue in the business. So that's an implied guarantee because in order to, to pay the full price, you have to actually get the result, 
right? Otherwise, you're not going to pay the full price. Um, I'm going to put in anti-guarantee, right? An anti-guarantee is uh, an explanation why you don't offer a money-back guarantee, right? So I'm not going to offer a money-back guarantee in this because this is a business and it's not a, a binary, oh, it worked or it doesn't, it didn't work, right? I'm not going to say like, oh, if it doesn't work, I'll give you your money back because there's so many variables in this that I don't want you to think in terms of it worked or it didn't work. I want you to think of in terms of, okay, let's dig into this process. Okay, maybe it, it, I didn't get sales or whatever this first time. Like if it doesn't work the first time, you dig into the process and figure out, okay, exactly which part is the bottleneck, right? Which is why I'm providing the Excel tracking template. I'm showing you exactly how to analyze your business so you can figure out, okay, which part was the bottleneck? Is it that um, that that the ads are too expensive? Is it that the ads are targeted to the wrong people? Is it that not that the opt-in rate is is too low, and so your opt-in page needs work? Right? There's always tweaking and modifying, and you have to go back and you have to figure out the bottleneck and you have to improve it, and then you try again. Right? So it's not a matter of oh, it didn't work. I want my money back. Like it doesn't work that way. And so I'm not offering a money back guarantee. And if that's the way that you think and you're already thinking about, oh, well, it's, you know, it's probably not gonna work, so I'm just gonna go back, then probably this offer isn't for you and you shouldn't get into well, really business at all if that's the mentality that you have. So that's the kind of the, the reasoning behind my anti-guarantee. And then I'll also have a service guarantee. So that what that is, and it goes along with the anti-guarantee, right? Because what I'm saying is that the, it's a process. It's not like a binary, it worked or it didn't work. If you go back and look at the metrics, chances are parts of it worked and there was one issue that you need to improve, right? So for that reason, I offer a guarantee that I will continue working with you until you make your first $100,000 and then you'll pay me my full fee, right? So um, the, the program will be 12 weeks or so, let's say, but if it takes you longer than 12 weeks to get to that first $100,000, I will continue working with you until you have reached that point. So I think that's a pretty strong stack when it comes to the guarantees. So there we go. Now I've got my full offer here. This is everything that's going to be included. And I have my three guarantees and I have these like in my marketing, what I want to list out as a bonus versus just what's part of the, the basic package. And that's going to depend on how I do my marketing too, right? So like if you're on a sales call, then you don't really say you're going to get this bonus and you're going to get this bonus like you would on a webinar uh, or on a sales page, right? You'll just kind of chunk it into what are the basic things that they're going to get. Um, so it's, but if I'm going to sell this on a webinar or a uh, challenge or something, then I'm going to, going to separate these out as bonuses. So I certainly hope this was helpful. If you want this worksheet, then I'm going to go ahead and make it available in the, um, in the description of this video so you can go ahead and download it. And if you're interested in actually getting this offer, like this is what I offer um, to my students. So if you're interested in talking about that, then I'd be happy to talk to you, uh, talk about it with you. So I hope this was helpful. If so, then you'd probably also really enjoy this video as well.